Now, if I were a game designer, I would put something in the lockers for you to find and use. A weapon or ammo. Of course, since I'm not a game designer and Capcom are dicks, they didn't put anything in there. Thanks, Capcom. Oh, gee. You shouldn't have. That's exactly what I wanted, was a fucking ink ribbon. Nothing useful. Yeah, this room was pretty useless, except for the acid rounds. So we have to go to the clock tower to uh, get one of the stone tablets and another stone tablet, I think, is through the other club door. Which is at the end of this hallway up here. And I think that's the last club key door. Fuck you, zombie. Three hours? What are we going to be going on? Like, four hours? Jesus, four hours of footage to render. Gah. Four hours of footage to edit? Yeah. Last time I did... Well, I was playing Halo. But since all that footage is on the Seagate now, I'm assuming that it's compromised in some way and useless because that's what the Seagate does. It destroys all it touches. Yep, no more screwing around with shape keys. Woo! I think we need the lighter for this one, though. Might as well give the room a good once-over anyways. Oh, Jesus! Hey, asshole. What's up? <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that was heavily bullshit. More fucking film to develop. Thanks, game. Picture of a man on a carriage. Something's on the wheel. Lighting queen. The king and the jack. Then the carriage will start running. We have to solve a puzzle over at the other side of the room in order to get that wheel to fall out. And that puzzle is to light these in a specific order. You can light a fire here. It's totally messed up. Okay, this room is utterly useless except for the one puzzle in it. Yay! I wasted acid rounds in this room for nothing! Whee! You can actually get by the liquors, though. You don't have to kill them. You can walk by them, and because they're blind... You can just get past them and avoid combat. In fact, you can also do that in Resident Evil 5. Unfortunately, the only two parts where you can do it are scripted. So, shit. But yeah, liquors gave me nightmares the first time I saw them in Resident Evil 2. And when they showed up in Resident Evil 5, I was like, yeah, fucking liquors! And then it's like, this, this, these aren't liquors at all. They don't act like liquors. They are not liquory. Okay, I need my lighter. And once we get that cog, we need to go up to the clock tower. That means going up those steps. Which means we will trigger the zombie attack on the police precinct. But since I don't intend to go through that hallway ever again, it shouldn't be too big a problem. Let's see. Where 
Where's the lighter at? There it is. Is there another thing of... Nope. Okay, that's it. I still have that first aid spray from the very beginning of the game. And I still have two of them, nice. If this were Resident Evil 3, I would probably have used those by now, wouldn't I? But I think I'm going to do that next time. Because we are just about done here in the police station. It's going to be going on like four hours soon. <laughs> it's going to be going on four hours and I have to stop playing and start editing eventually. So, let's see. Clara Seven Hall. Here's good. So, until then, I will see you guys later. So, later.